What would you give if you could have instant peace? I mean, really, seriously, you could cultivate a place inside yourself, like a set point, where peace is something you can turn to and have in any moment of your life. How about if I could also give you access to your internal guidance system really super quickly and easily, and you'll be able to do it in a moment, get accurate guidance on what you're thinking, and then move into your life with confidence and grace. Well, today, that is what I'm going to share with you, is my personal practice that has worked for thousands and thousands of people in bringing them into a state of inner peace and an awareness of their internal guidance system. This is Zen in a Moment, and it's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow, flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise, and I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. All right, so this practice is so powerful and yet so simple. I have gotten more compliments and, and more p- students telling me that this one practice has really changed their life. So I'm super excited to share it with you today. Now, now I teach this as a set point, a place to go when your mind is crazy and you're trying to access the information and guidance of your internal guidance system. Now, if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, go to zeninamoment.com, watch the video on the homepage, and I'll walk you through an exercise that'll have you feel your internal guidance system for yourself. It's a real thing that you came with. It was factory installed, and I want you to check it out. For everyone else who's been listening for a while and getting the tips and beginning to get a really good understanding of their IGS, this is what I call the listening practice. In fact, you'll hear me say on my courses, and things drop into your listening. And this is what I mean. And so I'm going to give you an example of it. Now, you may be listening to this on the go. So just do your best to follow along with what I'm saying, and then I'm going to give you some context around it. And um, if you need to, come back and try it on your own, all right? Uh, So the first thing you do is you, I like to start off people doing their listening practice in a seated position. Eventually, you'll be able to do this on the go. You'll be able to drop in instantaneously and and move into a state of mindfulness and peace and presence instantaneously. But right now, what I'd love for you to do is just sit down if you can and put your hands in your laps. I like to have my palms facing upwards and my feet on the floor, sitting up straight, Doesn't no rigidness or anything, and just feel the bottom of your feet. Now, you may have done this. If you've done the exercise on my homepage where I walk you through feeling your internal guidance system, It's we're going to be doing that, but I'm going to explain to you how to cultivate it to be even more powerful, a more powerful tool in your life. So for now, just feel the bottom of your feet and feel all the different areas like your toes, the balls of your foot, the edge of your foot, maybe the arch or how the arch is not touching your heel, how it all lays on the floor. Now, just by bringing your awareness to the bottom of your feet, you might start noticing that there's some energy there, maybe a little heat, a little tingle. Like your feet suddenly go, oh, she's paying attention to me or he's paying attention to me. Just be with that sensation for a moment. I like to have my eyes closed. You might want to close your eyes, less sensory stimulation to distract you from the focus on the bottom of your feet. Now bring your awareness to the palms of your hands. And once again, you might notice that there's some energy, tingly, heat, vibration, something showing up in the palms of your hands that wasn't there before. And then pay attention to both your feet and your hands at the same time and listen to the world around you. And you might notice that all of a sudden there are sounds that you didn't notice before. I've got some birds outside. I've got my wind chimes. I can hear my computer fan going. I can even hear my little dog breathing. Well, she's a big dog. little airplane going over. Paying attention to your feet and your hands and then listening to the world around you. A 
I want you to notice how you're feeling. If your mind's getting distracted, starting to give you things to do, just stop, feel your feet and hands, and listen again. I like to think of our minds as a puppy, right, that's trying to get out of a box. you got a puppy in a bo- cardboard box, and it, it, of course it doesn't want to stay there. It wants to jump out and explore the world. Well, so does your mind. You wouldn't grab that puppy and beat it and shove it back in the box and say, bad puppy. Of course not. You're going to be gentle with that beautiful little puppy. So you just pick the puppy back up, give a little scruffle under the neck, chin, put it back in the box. And that's what you're going to do with your mind. You just just go ahead and relax and pick that mind back up and go, no mind. We're going to pay attention to the feet and the hands and listen for a moment. All right, so here's the thing. This is so wonderful about this practice. When I use this with my students, okay, so first of all, I recommend that you start off by doing this two or three times a day for 30 seconds to two to three minutes. You're welcome to do it longer. It feels really good. You may not not have gotten there, but many people get there right away where you just feel good. You just feel like, uh, it's like a break you need. Being present and mindful and and being in your body is so restful if you understand how to do it well. And so it may just be this thing where you're like, ah, that felt so good just taking a break for a moment. And then you do it two or three times a day because what we're doing is like working a muscle. We're building up your capacity to drop into being present and mindful in an instant. Once you've done it for a week or so, you know, and I, I like to set a timer. You know, I have to be reminded. I get going. I, I My mind and I get going, and, and then all of a sudden I'm like, darn it, I didn't do the four things today I really wanted to do. So if you need to, you know, go ahead and set a timer go, to go off at three different times this week, and then you just drop into your listening, 30 seconds to three minutes. Then what I want you to do is I want you to do it in the shower. I want you to do it while you're driving your car. I want you to do it while you're working. I want you to do it in the middle of conversations, right? This is a way for you to instantly drop in and get reconnected with what's going on now in this now moment. And what's happening in this now is allowing you to access any possibility that's possible for that moment. Instead of your mind driving you towards an outcome, you sit and rest for a moment. You listen better from this state. You can feel your internal guidance system better from this state. There is a creative awareness that can happen from this state. This is a focal point that I use in almost all of what I teach so that people can be divinely guided in their lives and have the most synchronicity and magic happen. It comes from this listening practice, the start of this listening practice. If the sound portion of the listening practice doesn't work for you, then use something visual. You can feel your feet and your hands and then gaze upon something with a soft eye, meaning you just relax your eye. You have a little bit of a blurry focus and really notice the thing that you're looking at, the color, the texture, the, the shadow, the whatever it is, just rest into really looking at that thing. Practice this for a little while. You're going to be surprised at the quality of your life and how it shifts from this one tiny little practice. Just try it. So just comment below and let me know what it was like to do the listening practice just now. How did that feel? What came up for you? What was the experience? I really would love to know. I'm excited about knowing that. All right, so this is Zen in a Moment, and I am super excited that you're listening to this podcast. It means so very much to me. Please spread the word. The the things don't happen unless we share. And as my friend Alex Mendozian says, sharing is caring. And I would really love for you to care about this podcast and forward it on to people that you care about. And also, if you want to find out how to use stress as guidance and really go deep into your internal guidance system, please join me for my Stress to Happiness Makeover program. It is a program that is extraordinary. It transforms your world. Not only does it have you become a master at your internal guidance system, but it literally transforms your stress into happiness in a way that you can hang on to permanently for the rest of your life. The skills you learn in this class transform your life into you having ultimate power and control of your joy and happiness every day of your life. And you tap into, once again, what I call the magic and synchronicity that is the norm of our lives. All right. Until I get an opportunity to be with you again, I am sending you love and blessings, and I am ever so grateful for you. 